Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And today is a very special day. A very special day indeed. Um, I am going to be doing something that I have never done. Hundreds, probably thousands of hours into Minecraft. Two Minecraft videos almost every day for the last nine months, and I have never, in vanilla, fought the Wither. So, we're gonna fight the Wither. I spent a lot of time between episodes in the Nether Fortress that's nearby, uh, trying to farm Withers. I actually got pretty lucky and got them a lot faster than I thought I was going to, uh, but, needless to say, it still took a little while. So... We're going to go and we're going to fight the Wither, and I'm thinking we're going to do it this way. We've already got these nice, giant, long tunnels carved out. All right, one Wither Skull, two Wither Skulls. Let's eat a Golden Apple. Let's drink our Strength Potion. Put you there. Okay. I think I am as ready as I'm going to be. We'll grab the bow. And he's not vulnerable at the moment. Now he is. Come here, you. There we go. Got him. Tell me he's not going... Oh, he's already punched a hole in the thing. Oh, he sees me. Yep, yep, he definitely sees me. We'll have him down to about half very shortly here, I think. There we go. Alright, he is invulnerable. So, regen potion. Go in for the kill with the smite sword. Get him, get him, get him, get him. We got him. I got him. We have successfully killed the Wither. I was overprepared. That's okay, though. I didn't have to use my Notch Apple. I didn't have to use half of my stuff. That could have gone significantly worse. And he didn't escape to the overworld, to the surface, to, uh, you know, blow up everything. So all in all, I'm going to call that a successful Wither fight. That could have gone significantly worse than it did. All right. So, I guess we'll head back up. I've got some other things to do. So, I will meet you guys back on the surface. All right, guys. I am back. I've got my tools now. And I have everything I need to craft a beacon. Which, of course, is the reason that we fought the Wither in the first place. Because I want a beacon. It's cool. It shoots a beam of light into the sky, and it gives me amazing abilities, like super speedy mining and things. So, let's go ahead and craft one of those. And, actually, what do we... Ooh, we're a little lacking on the blocks. Hmm. I may foresee some mining in store. I don't remember exactly how many blocks it takes to form a full-on beacon base, but I know it's a fairly significant amount. It's a lot more than I've got here, that's for sure. So, I'm going to have to do some mining between episodes uh, so that I can set up a proper beacon mine somewhere, but that's, that's inconsequential. Um, let's move on to the other things that I would like to get accomplished in today's episode. So... We have yet another patron to add to the Hall of Patrons, but this one is a little special. This is a little bit more of a special occasion, um, and I will tell you why very shortly. Let me get everything that I need. I do need a set of armor. Uh, aha! Let's go ahead and make that. Like, soup. 
Beautiful. We have a set of armor. And I think I have everything else I need. Except for the... Armor stand. Okay. Ta-da! Beautiful. Alright. So, into the Hall of Patrons we go. Now, this is going to be the first one added to the first floor. Because the top floor is now full, as you can see. So, let's see. Hmm, where to put? Where to put this fine fellow? Somewhere, somewhere with a sign. Um, I guess right here. And we'll, uh, I guess on the first floor, because of the windows, we'll put the signs like this. So, McIntyre Sutterberg. I spelled your first name wrong. I think that's correct. Also, if that is not the correct pronunciation of your name, I truly apologize. I am terrible with names, and mispronouncing them is a service that I provide. <laughs> anyway. Ow! Hey! Hey! Okay, we can play the bow game. Let's play the bow game. I win, you lose. That's what I thought. Anyway. So. On Patreon, there are different tiers of rewards, um, and the higher the amount of the monthly donation, the monthly pledge, if you will, the higher reward tier you get. And they vary from, you know, a dollar to, uh, you know, all the way up to, like, a house built in your honor and add me on Skype and all sorts of crazy stuff. And uh, this fine fellow, Mr. Sutterberg... McIntyre, uh, has been the first person to choose the highest pledge, uh, of $50, which just blows my mind. Like, I can't even imagine. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled. So, we're going to build a house in today's episode. And I was going to build a shrine as well, just a little one, because that's part of the reward tier. But the problem is... Uh, I don't have the blocks to pro to form a proper shrine with... Actually, you know what? Let's check something. Does the beacon shoot off light without a base? No. Oh, I forgot how long these things take to mine. Okay. Well, we'll get to that. So, this house... Hmm. Let's grab some cobble. Let's grab some... Smooth stone. And... I think some spruce. Let's do some spruce. A little bit of the sprucey going on. There we go. That's a good start. We can work with that. So, where to put... McIntyre's house? I'm thinking... I'm kind of thinking over here, and we'll go, um, five, let's go seven, like so, and then one, two, three, four, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And is that seven as well? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, good, good. This is what we want. Now, we have this space, which we intend to make use of. Is that... Okay, this can be hollowed away a little bit. And we'll want to peel this back just a tiny bit too. There we go. And then we can bring you over here. Like so. There we go. So that'll be kind of the foundation of the house. And I think that will be fine. Something like that. All right. Now, the fun parts. Hmm. I know spruce. I know I want spruce. 
We'll do something like this, I think. We'll maybe make this a two-story house. Let's do a little bit of... Oh, oh, there we go. We'll do a little bit of this. There we go. That looks good to me. Let's build this up uh, maybe three high. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll do uh, basically a one-story house but with an attic. And we'll put a nice fancy roof on this, um, which is kind of a roof shape that I've really come to love doing, uh, at least lately. It's one that I greatly enjoy. It's kind of a fantasy sort of uh, almost, I don't know if it's like Scandinavian, Nordic, I don't really know. I don't really know my architecture as well as you might think, but it's a very cool build style. I have, the inspiration has struck, so now we're going to make it work, and we're going to go with it. Uh, this is actually going to be very similar to the house that I built uh, in Kingdom Craft, at least roof style-wise. I don't know about um, the rest of the house, but the roof at least is going to be very... Very, very much like the style of roof that I built in the house in Kingdom Craft. There we go. Okay. Now, I need to take a nap. I also want to fill in that floor with, um, maybe oak. Oak or birch, one of the two. And, uh, maybe punch out some windows. So I'm going to get some more work done on the house, guys, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got the windows put in. I got the birch floor put in, birch slabs is what I used, and I'm just doing a little bit of work here on the roof. So, I'm, what I'm trying to do here is figure out a roof shape. So let's see here. Over, up, over, up, over, maybe we'll make this one go up two, and then that one go up two as well. How would that look? I think that would do. I think that would do quite nicely. Oh. So we'll go here. And like so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we'll do that as well. And let's see, here's the middle. There. So we essentially have four roof spots, which should all be pretty much identical. So now they just need to be filled in and put in place with some sort of highlight. I'm thinking stone brick is what I'm going to use. I think that makes sense, especially since the bottom... The foundation of the house is also done in stone brick, so that'll kind of bring some uh, continuity to the build, if you will. And let's make that one normal stone brick. There we go. So how this would look then is we would have stone brick going like this. We would have stone brick coming like this, although it would stop uh, here. Yeah, yep, it would stop right there. And then it would go... Ooh, this one would be a little wacky. Let's just hold off on that one for the moment until we can get some more of the roof done. Um, there we go. And then this one would stop there, I believe, right? Yes, good. And then we can worry on bringing those out. So, for example, upside down stair. And an upside down stair to connect that. And then we basically are just making this shape 
work. So, follow the outline of the house. And, like I told a friend of mine once, this looks significantly more complicated than it actually is. It's actually really not a very complicated roof. It only looks like it is. So, let's see this. Hmm. What would be the best way to do this one? We got that there. I'm thinking... Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking stone brick here. This will come out as an upside down. And then we can swing over here. And do... Something like that. Upside down. Up. And... Bam. And then this can come up. Oh, not that way. Just kidding. That way. All right, let's take a look at that from a distance. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. I quite like it. We do need a window of some sort, probably right in here, just so it doesn't look quite so uh, blah, if you will. But that's easy enough. That's not a bad roof. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get that done. And I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. And I think I've got the house well, pretty much about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. I think the roof is in good shape. Everything else should be fairly easy to do, because now, now that we have the roof where we want it, now it's simply a matter of basically getting the roof filled in properly. And that's not too difficult to do. I mean, it's a challenge in some ways, but it's not, it's not ridiculous. Um, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Once you have an outline to work with, Everything else comes fairly easily. So, I'm not too worried about that. I do want a little staircase -y thingy. There we go. So I can get up here easily. And we're just going to fill... We're basically playing uh, connect the dots. We've got the outline all built up the way we want. At this point, it's just a matter of actually connecting the roof and not falling off of it. Which, as you all probably know by now, that's something that I am not so great at. Parkour, balancing, nope, not my thing. That's all right. I know I could shift. I know I could shift. But, uh, you know, I actually, maybe in this case, it's probably better that I do just to make sure that I don't fall again and further embarrass myself. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and see if we can finish off this roof. Uh, I'm going to get this all finished up here, guys, and I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am almost done with the roof. I just realized that I missed this side, but that's okay. That won't take long. The rest of it is essentially done, so all we need to really do is fill in this little chunk over here. Come on now. There we go. And then this little bit right there. Beautiful. And then let's just fill in that. Okay, so the roof is almost done. The only thing left to do, uh, I think I do want one of those to stick out there. And over there. And right about there. And I fell off the roof. Let's not fall off the roof anymore. Let's just... Not. There we go. 
So the last thing that I want to do is on the top of the roof, I want a bunch of these slabs. And let's, uh, middle, middle of the house. There we go. And of course, I miscalculated. There we go. And we're going to put some slabs up here as like an outline for the roof shape. And this is going to accomplish a couple different things. First of all, it's going to keep mobs from being able to spawn on the roof because they can't spawn on slabs. And I don't think mobs can spawn on stairs either. I might be wrong on that one. But it should keep the majority of creepy crawlies off of the roof of this house, if not all of them. Let's go ahead and... where's my... there it is. Alright. How's that look? That looks pretty good. That's a good looking roof. Let's take a nap and take a look at it in the daylight. See what we think. What do we think? I think that it's blocked by this other house. That's what I think. Let's come on, uh, maybe up here. We'll be able to get a good view of it. Oh yeah. That looks gorgeous. Oh, that is a beautiful roof. Okay, so. We need to do something with that space. So as to fill that space with some sort of interest, we also need to do something with this. So, I propose birch block. Um, birch like so, little deck maybe? Mm, too much, too much of a deck. Let's maybe go to there. And then we'll put right here a full birch block. We'll put a full birch block right there. And let's make like four birch stairs. And we'll put those right there. Hmm. Maybe we'll put them like that. What do we think? Then we could have the road that'll lead up to this. Yeah, that'll do. That roof looks that roof looks really derpy though from this side, from inside. So, here's how we're going to fix it. We are going to take these lovely things. Um, and actually, let's do the windows right away, too, before I forget. Um, right about here should be good. So maybe we'll go there, there, and there. Take our spruce like so. That should be enough separation, I think. Yeah, that adds a lot. Just having that right there. That makes a huge difference. And we're, what did we say? Here, here, and here? Just like so. Yep. Looks great. Okay. So, final step is... Uh, right here, I think, is a good level for the ceiling. And we'll put that in place, just like so. And essentially what we're doing here is hiding all that ugliness. We're just hiding that. We could maybe make, like, a ladder that goes up there, so we could use this for, I don't know, storage or something. But, uh... Mostly, I just want to hide the ugliness that is the upstairs. So that's what we're doing. There we go. And we will put a 
torture two or three up here, just because I don't want anything spawning up here. So, there we go. And... There. Looking good. This this actually turned out very well, considering I basically made it up on the spot. Okay. Last step, glass panes. And then I'm going to call it done. We can worry about interior and exterior decorating in the next episode. I do need... Gla there we go. Glass panes. I think that will be enough. Um, let's make a few more. I'd rather be, rather be safe than sorry, as the saying goes. So this should do. Okay, one there, one there. One there. Yep, that looks good. Bam, bam, bam. Do 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 oh so touch ha ha The worst part about breaking glass when you don't have a silk touch pick is that you lose it. And then you have basically essentially wasted a resource through your own carelessness. Which drives me slightly crazy. Okay, there we go. So you got ourselves a decent little house. That's not too bad. The last thing that I want to do before we end the episode, that's the last work that we're going to do on the house, but the last, th the last thing I want to do before we end the episode is I do want to set up the beacon. Just a little bit. Oh, I forgot about these. Hmm. Yep. These need windows too, don't they? Otherwise, they're going to look very derp. Very bland, very boring, very derp. Not what we want in this world, without a doubt. Get that. Oh, I, I fell. Ta-da! Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to need you. What do I not need? I don't need that. There, there. And there. Okay. How's that look? That looks... that looks really bad. Ooh, this. This is... this is problematic. Um, I know exactly why it is, too. Um, I also know exactly how to fix it, thankfully. The reason that this looks bad is because it's not centered on this, which makes it very asymmetrical, which makes it very ugly. So... Because of this arch being here, that essentially means that those have to be there too. This one could probably stay where it was, but uh, we'll kick that over a little bit as well, just for the sake of bigger windows. There we go. Much gooder. And don't laugh at my Englishes. Um... This suffers from the same problem. So maybe we can fix this one up as well. We might have to do the same thing. I think we probably will. Trial and error. Minute adjustments as you go. All part of the building process. And all an essential part of that building process as well. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Then, final thing, windows. Ooh, can I reach? Yes. Can I reach you? Yes. And you? Excellent. And I got the flying finicky block. Okay. So, that's all good. Anyway, beacon. Um, I think I will set up the beacon temporarily. At least. Right. Hmm. Where do I want to set up the beacon? Let's set it up right about here. Just, just for now. 
We will make a proper place for it later. But I just want to make sure that it actually... Yeah, there we go. I just want the beam. That's all I want. So that when I come over here and look at this house, I can see the beam of light shooting up from behind it. Which is pretty cool. But guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Next episode, we will finish off the house, do some interior decorating, and uh, finish the outside landscaping as well. Guys, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.